There was a huge response from GB News viewers after you appeared on this show last week criticising the BBC. And you know what they said, Andrew? Yes, we want the BBC to play the national anthem. But in lieu of that happening, we want GB News to play the national anthem every day. And because we're in touch with our viewers in a way that I think, Andrew, the BBC isn't, we will be doing that from tomorrow morning. Your reaction? Uh, Dan, I'd like to thank you for your support for this campaign. I actually think that GB News is speaking for Britain. The vast majority, the silent majority, who actually love this country, they are patriotic, they do love the Queen, they do like to see the flag, and why not play the national anthem? GB News is leading the broadcast media in this country by playing the national anthem in the morning. I hope that ITV and BBC will follow the example of GB News and do the same, especially in this year of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Yeah. But, Andrew, we saw in my digest, didn't we, it's not just that they're no longer patriotic, they actually snare at the Union Jack. They're embarrassed by the thought that a Tory minister would have a Union Jack in their office. And I, I think the reason that I keep coming back to this point, Andrew, is it shows you the culture uh, which, has, which is just infused throughout the corporation. Look, Dan, you're completely right. I'm afraid the BBC have lost a lot of credibility with the average person in this country. I think over the Brexit referendum, the fact that they did show such clear bias, I think, turned a lot of people, like me, I, I was a great supporter of the BBC, I think it's a great British institution, but it's not British enough anymore. It seems to be sneering at the average view of the man and woman in the street, and I just think they're in the wrong place. And over this national anthem, for instance, you'll probably remember that Kirsty Walk played the Sex Pistols version of the national anthem on Newsnight uh, in response to my call to restore uh, the proper national anthem. And it's this kind of sneering and mm. downgrading of our British traditions and our British symbols that the BBC, as a national broadcaster, shouldn't be engaging in, but it's exactly what they've done. And I think that they should expect the British people to start to move away from them, be sceptical. And thank goodness we have GB News, which is not woke and not politically correct. What a great addition to the broadcast media in this country GB News is. Indeed, and we're not too cool for school either, like, like the BBC. Are.